You will never get away with it. You cannot just walk into an American naval base and then steal a boatload of supplies. Pepe, you have no confidence. Uh, it worked in Hollandia and Milne Bay. Just let me do the talking and it will work here. Paul, who goes there? I'm Ensign Parker, officer of the day. <laughs> oh, no. This is going to be easier than I thought. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, oh, please, monsieur, you have nothing to fear from us. We are merely on ball fishermen in distress. Huh? Oh, well, then, wait a minute. Hey, you're a big Frenchy. Last time we saw you was a New Caledonian that stole our PT boat. Oh, it's in Parker. How nice you remember wait, me. Wait, put me down. No huggy gone duty. I'm <laughs> guilty and you guys are under arrest. Oh, but please, monsieur, you have nothing to fear from big Frenchy. I have, as you Americans say, turned over a new leaf, huh? Read that from the chief of police of New Caledonia, congratulating Big Frenchy for the wonderful work he has done with the Boy Scouts and the PTA. You see there? Says Rene, we are proud of you. You have become a model citizen. How about that? Huh? Huh? Oh, boy, the PTA. Wow. Hey, if I have that letter, I'd like to show the gang. Oh, no. I am sorry. It might get lost. I want to send it to my mother. You got a mother, too? Boy, wait a minute. Oh. Of course you'd have a mother. <laughs> now, if you will tell me where is the office of your captain, I have a little business to transact there. Uh, well, it's right over there in that big Quonset hut. Hey, I'd be proud to take you over there. So you are the OD. You must guard the island, huh? Got that. Oh. Right. Yeah, well, uh, I'll see you around. Uh, Roger, over and out. Oh. Gee, I love that kind of talk. <laughs> Underground. My identification, sir. Oh, uh, right. <laughs> General René Jacques-Henri Boucher, at your service, mon capitaine. Oh, how do I know you, General Ole, Ole, whatever that is you're saying? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I admire you, are. you for your caution, sir. It is no wonder they call you the jungle fox, sir. I don't care what the... They call me the jungle fox? Oh, do not be modest. Everyone has heard of the famous Captain Binghamton, huh? Oh, oh, yes, you're right. You see, sir, I keep telling you, you've become a legend in your own time. Perhaps this will convince you, sir. My orders, direct from General de Gaulle. Oh, de Gaulle, what do you know about that? To our American allies, this is to introduce the courageous leader of the underground movement, the bearer of these secret orders. General René Jacques Henri Bouton. Thank you, Carpenter. Now, why don't you come around Sunday afternoons and read me the funny? I'm perfectly capable of reading this thing myself. Well, sir, I. I'm sorry. Get out of here. I'm on fire. What's the matter with you? Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but you know we in the underground are trained to burn our secret orders so they do not fall into the hands of the enemy. Well, I didn't even get to the part where I've been trying to... I also have here to... microfilm of documents signed by your own Eisenhower and Montgomery. Yes. Oh, microfilm. Oh, Eisenhower and Montgomery. Is microfilm? Is that what... <laughs> I can't make anything out of that. It's, uh, get me a magnifying glass. Oh, yes. There is no time for that. Now is the time for action. I am already late for my rendezvous with the suicide patrol. Where are they going? A suicide patrol? You're going to see a suicide as well. Uh, uh, forgive me, General. I'm very sorry for this bungling numbskull holding us up like this. Now, now, what can I do to help you, General? I have need of a few meager supplies for myself and a handful of patriots. Handful of... <laughs> You, uh, you need all of that for a handful of patriots? Going to... Oh, you are right. You will Forget the spices. Oh, okay. But the rest are all necessities. Oh, I can, I can see that. There's uh, 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 food and chocolate bars, 
And uh, waterproof wristwatches. Yes, sir. Yes, well, yes, cameras. Sir. Why would you need cameras? I will tell you about the goal of your cooperation. Ah, uh, uh, Captain, I know you're not interested in glory, but I hope you will accept a little croix de guerre as a token of our esteem. Oh, a croix de guerre. Well, I... Uh, <laughs> that would be something, wouldn't it? <laughs> What's wrong with cameras? Haven't you ever heard of reconnaissance? But I don't Don't they... you argue with the, uh, the jungle fox? The jungle, the jungle fox. The jungle yeah. fox. Don't argue with the jungle fox. Give me that, General. Here, Lieutenant, give me the whole thing there. You fill these right away, and that's an order. Fill it. Yes, sir. <laughs> Hi, Chuck. Hi, Skip. Hey, how's the OD? Oh, great. Hey, boy, am I glad to see you. You'll never guess who's here. Big Frenchie. Just went up to see Binghamton. Big Frenchie? Yeah. I thought I recognized his boat. Why, that swindling sea dog. Get rid of him, Skip. It's a favor to me. This island ain't big enough for two crooks. Now, listen, you guys wait here. I'm going to go up and warn Binghamton before that officer's club is missing. <laughs> Make yourself at home. I'll be right back. <laughs> Mac Hales, this hurts me. For you to talk this way to an old friend who is trying to make a living as a poor but honest fisherman. Fisherman? Ha! Well, I see you've already started fishing. Without permission. How did that get in there? The same way... The same way that these got in there. Like flying fish, they flew in. Oh, here we are, General. Ah. I've got this. Mikhail, what are you do? You're the one that's been stealing my chocolate bars. It's time to get away with your gold pen. Hey, now, wait a minute. Well, just, sir, I came in to warn you about this crook. Crook? You dare call this gentleman a crook? This man is a member of the French... A fishing fleet, sir. And it... uh, oh, I get it. Yeah, fishing fleet. <laughs> fishing fleet? But, sir, this man is an out-and-out -out pirate. <gasps> Do not be too hard on Mikhail, Captain. Uh, over the years, he has tried to reform. Uh, the spirit is willing, but uh, the flesh is weak. <laughs> not too weak to give you a shot in the head. Now, wait a minute here, Mikhail. I'm standing here in the middle of this thing. Uh, and besides, don't you dare touch this fine gentleman. I'll take care of you later. Now, you get out of my office. But, sir... Out, 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 out. All right, sir. It's your problem, not mine. But I got one word of advice for you, sir. You better hold on to your skivvies. <laughs> oh, he's a terrible man. Imagine saying a word like skivvies in front of a stranger. <laughs> sakes, I'd give anything to get rid of him. Why don't you send him out on a mission? Well, I do send him out on missions, but he always comes back. I mean now, as a favor to me and the underground. Men like that, he could ruin everything. Big mouth. Yes, you're right, but I don't have a mission to send him on right now, General. Are you uh, sure, Jungle Fox? Eh? Oh, you mean... Uh... <laughs> a toast to you, Captain. A man of decision. Oh, thank you, General. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, call me Frenchie. That is what the girl calls me. Uh, what does uh, MacArthur call you? Uh, MacArthur called... Well, oh, uh, well, uh, he calls me... Uh, uh, Wally, a lot, and uh, I call him Doug. <laughs> to you, Frenchie. Uh, to you, Doug. Uh, no, 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 he's Doug. I'm Wally. I'll drink to both of you. <laughs> hey, Skip, what kind of a goofy mission is this? O'Connor was just a deserted rock. They're in a nip within 500 miles of the place. Present company accepted. Will you get below? Hey, Skip, we just can't leave that French bandit here. I'm not going until I bury my piggy bank. Move it. Move it. Come on, get on board. Right. Oh, darn it, we got to get Fuji back to our island anyway. Not you, Chuck. You're the OD, remember? Oh, yeah. yeah. Look, Chuck, you you got a big job to do here. you got to keep your eye on Big Frenchie. We want to find an island here when we get back. Well, don't worry, Skip. I'll be on the job. And then careful with that gun, will you? Huh? Oh, no worry, Skip. I always keep the safety on. Yeah. Thank you, Captain. 
Yeah. Oh, did you get the supplies that General Boucher requested? Yes, sir. They've been delivered to the dock for your inspection before loading. Oh, good, good. Well, first I've got to stop at the airstrip. The Admiral just arrived unexpectedly. Oh, the Admiral, sir? Yes. I'll bet he's bringing you congratulations from General de Gaulle, yes, sir. This certainly is your lucky day, sir. <laughs> it could be more than that. This could be the day that I really talk to the Admiral about getting rid of McHale. Again, sir. Oh, but this time I've got the perfect replacement for McHale. I have got a man that knows these waters just as well as McHale does. Big Frenchy. <laughs> big Frenchy? Who's Big Frenchy, sir? General I... Boucher to you. Oh. If I could get him assigned here with us, well, my troubles would be over. <laughs> oh, I'll meet you at the dock. Tell the general to wait for me. Yes, sir. I'll get the door for you, sir. Never mind. Does a man that knows how to get rid of McHale look like he can't open a door to you? Oh, sir. Oh. <laughs> This is a bigger role than Olandia. You stick with me. Next week, who knows? The book will never be out. General Boucher, sir. Who? In public, call me Big Frenchy. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I just wanted to inform you that Captain Binghamton will be a little late inspecting this cargo. Late? Yes, sir. That will never do. It's getting close to zero hour. Oh. <laughs> uh, we of the French underground always wear four wristwatches. Four? Uh, one is set for each time zone. Oh, I see. Well, don't worry, sir. We'll get you out on time. The captain just stopped by the airstrip to talk to Admiral Rogers for a few minutes. The Admiral, he is here. Yeah, unexpected visit. He's... Oh, I just remembered. I forgot to make my bed. I gotta run. I'll be back. The Admiral. <laughs> We'd better make a run for it. Not without the supplies. Get the men. We will load them ourselves. Eh? Uh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> okay, big Frenchie, I got you. One move and I'll let you have it. Fuck yes. That's right. And the only way these supplies are getting off this dock is over my dead body. So I better be careful. I mean, you better be careful. And put your hands up. Hey! <laughs> I know you're there, but... Yeah. There is no need for violence, monsieur. I would not stand a chance against a man of steel like you. Me? Really? Do not be modest. Everyone has heard of the famous Ensign Parker. Th they have? I will have to tell you the real reason I am here. The reason to see your Captain Binghamton. I am with the French underground. You are? Oh, come on now. Oh, I admire you for your caution. It is no wonder they call you the jungle fox. Yeah, well, sticks and stones, but the jungle fox. Mm. Here are my orders, direct from your very own General Eisenhower. General Eisenhower? That's pretty important. Very important, man. Yeah, I see where it says it. Hey! They're on fire. My mission is top secret. Uh, oh, yeah, we, we couldn't let the enemy know, would we? So you see, we must move oh. and, pardon, we must move and move quickly. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure, because, well, you know something? Commander McHale thought you guys were stealing this stuff. Oh, he is such a suspicious man. And now, can we start the loading? Well, well, yeah, we better get... Oh, I don't know, though. I'm still OD. I better check with somebody. Oh, I'm glad you mentioned that. I almost forgot the big news. It new orders from your own Admiral Alzi. Admiral Alzi? Uh, you are no longer the OD. You have been transferred to my commander. You are now Major Parker of the French Underground. Well, if I'd have known how to shave. Now, Major, uh, can we get on with the, the... Sure, yeah, my golly. Oh, oh, uh, you forgot to burn the orders. Oh, yes. You are so clever. I am so stupid. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, the jungle fox. <laughs> Boy, wait till the skipper finds out about this. From Ensign to Major, all in one day. <laughs> Then, I want you to meet our new supply officer, Major Charles Jungle Fox Parker. <laughs> this fearless man of destiny has volunteered to help us load and to lead us through dangerous waters to victory. Major, I am proud of you. General, we have nothing to fear but fear itself. <laughs> Men, I promise to leave you with craft and cunning. 
After all, they don't call me the jungle fox for nothing. <laughs> all right, now, let's get the boat loaded. Alley, alley. Alley, alley, alley. Oh. Alley. <laughs> what do we need him for? For two reasons. One, to help us make our escape in Erawi, eh? Huh? Two, Mac Hale is out there somewhere. If he tries to stop us, we have that jungle fox as a hostage. You American sailors, help us Frenchmen load the boat. Uh, Auntie double, Auntie double, L.A., L.A. <laughs> you said this scheme of mine wouldn't work. Eh? We are getting better service here than we got in Hollandia. <laughs> <laughs> and not only at Hollandia, but Sam Marn, Milne Bay, those black marketeers have wiped us out at three supply bases. Can you imagine an officer under my command? Stupid enough to hand over government supplies to a fast-talking French phony? Uh, Hollandia and uh, Sam Ardman, uh, M Milne, please. Captain Marshall, Captain Bishop, and Captain Corbett, who are now Ensign Marshall, Ensign Bishop, and Seaman Corbett. He even handed over radar equipment. <laughs> radar. <clears throat> you seen any Frenchmen around here, Binghamton? Oh, yeah, no, 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 sir. No Frenchman, no, no. Yeah, all right. Now, what did you rush up here to tell me? My executive officer said it had something to do with a man to replace McHale. Oh, uh, yeah, yes, uh, well, uh, Now, you know how I feel about McHale. Who do you suggest to replace a man like that? Who do I su suggest? Well, uh, 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 Carpenter. Carpenter? Elroy Carpenter? That clutch! He doesn't even know how to make up his own bed. Oh, he's been awfully neat about that lady, Admiral. He takes both three corners of the sheet. He pulls it very tightly, very carefully. Binghamton, tell me something. And I want an honest answer, as you're an officer and a gentleman. Are you drunk? <laughs> it's gone, sir. It is gone. The Frenchman's boat is gone. Oh, thank you for the six o'clock news. I don't know what I'd do without you, you... You klutz. <laughs> Sailor. Sir. What happened to that French boat? It left, sir, about a half hour ago, right after we loaded it, under the orders of Major Parker. Major Parker? Sailor, are you drunk? No, sir. Haven't you heard? He's a major now in the French underground. When they left, he went with them. That is the most ridiculous thing I've... All right, carry on, carry on. This is beginning to add up, Carpenter. It's another one of McHale's plots. Here's Mikhail, sir. Mission accomplished, Captain, at Locano. All right, you're under arrest now, Mikhail. Arrest this man, get him, arrest him. Arrest? What for, Captain? Oh, this is the end of the line, Mikhail. I've got the goods on you this time, you, you black marketeer. Black marketeer? That's what it's going to say on your cell door. Your accomplice, big French, he just left here with half of my warehouse. Accomplice? But, Captain, I wasn't even in this. Look, I was the one who tried to warn you about that pirate. Yeah, that's part of the plot. You know, whatever you say, I do just the opposite. <laughs> I've got the goods on all of you. Your contact man, Parker, he's gone with Frenchie and his gang at these, but the rest of you are going to stand trial. Parker left with them? Those dirty cutthroats. Yeah, they must have grabbed him as a hostage. Poor Mr. Parker's a goner. All right, you man, that's a great performance. You should have enlisted in the USO, but now you're going to the brig. Get down up in there, that's an order. Sorry we can't oblige you, Captain, but Mr. Parker's life may be in danger. Take it, turn him over. Yeah, wait, wait a minute, get the body here. Stop our time. <laughs> Elroy, give me a hand, Elroy. <laughs> Elroy. You men, take hold, quick, quick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys, we don't have much time. We didn't beat French in by much. Now, first, we can't use guns. Secondly, we can't let them see us or they're liable to hurt Chuck. So, we gotta round them up without laying one hand on them. Well, how do we do that? Look, have I ever failed you? No. no. Well, I failed you now. I haven't the slightest idea how we're gonna do it. <laughs> Unless. Yes? Here they come, boys. All right, lay low. This is it. 
I know you're out there, Mac Hare. Now you come out with your hands up or you are minus one and ten. M Major. Pardon. <laughs> Boys, hold it, hold it. I know French and he means it. Hey, what's going on here, General? I demand an explanation. You've been taken, Chuck. Frenchy doesn't work for the underground. He's in business for himself in the black market. Black market? Well, now, if that's so, General Boucher, I demand that you return your time. <coughs> that's smart. Chuck, don't let him get your gun. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Give me that. <laughs> All right, Michael. Thank you very much. Now I won't need this pig sticker anymore. And thank you, Frenchie, for solving our problems. Now we can go closer, boys. Well, I wouldn't do that if I were you, Skip. Neither would I, Mackey. Ah, now don't worry that, Chuck. He may have your gun, but I've got your bullets. <laughs> I took them out this morning after you nearly shot your leg off, remember? <laughs> Sucre Blue who can fight such stupidity. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, Skip, here comes Binghamton, the Admiral. All right, Mikhail, I've got you and your gang of thieves this time. You're all under arrest. <laughs> well, Skip, you better give me back my gun. I'm in enough trouble as it is. Oh, relax, Chuck. Let him yell. We got nothing to worry about. Yeah, I guess you're right. We did capture Big Frenchy. Uh, Boy, it's a good thing you guys took the bullets out of these. My fault, Skip. I, I couldn't bear to leave Mr. Parker alone without any bullets, so I put a few back in. <laughs> you know, it's worth a hole in my hat to round up this gang of black marketeers. Mikhail Parker, I'm proud of you. Well, thank you, sir. We're glad we'll be of help. All right, men, let's get these fellows to the police station. Bye-bye, sir. <laughs> that was very clever of you, Mikhail. No wonder they call you the jungle fox. <laughs> come on, come on, get out of here. And don't bother saying au revoir. Let's just say goodbye. <laughs> Toodaloo. <laughs> You may have fooled the Admiral, but you're not fooling me. They don't call me the Jungle Fox for nothing. Hey, wait a minute. I'm the Jungle Fox. You're the Jungle Jackass when I get through with you. I'm calling for a thorough investigation. I don't intend to rest until I get to the bottom of this. Ugh. 
You will never get away with it. You cannot just walk into an American naval base and then steal a boatload of supplies. Pepe, you have no confidence. Uh, it worked in Hollandia and Milne Bay. Just let me do the talking and it will work here. Paul, who goes there? I'm Ensign Parker, officer of the day. <laughs> oh, no. This is going to be easier than I thought. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, 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 please, monsieur, you have nothing to fear from us. We are merely humble fishermen in distress. Huh? Oh, well, then. Wait, wait a minute. Hey, you're a big Frenchie. Last time we saw you was in New Caledonia and stole our PT boat. Oh, it's in Parker. How nice you remember wait. me. Well, put me down. No huggy gone duty. I'm so <laughs> you guys are under arrest. Oh, but please, monsieur, you have nothing to fear from big Frenchie. I have, as you Americans say, turned over a new leaf, huh? Read that from the chief of police of New Caledonia, congratulating Big Frenchie for the wonderful work he has done with the Boy Scouts and the PTA. You see there? Says Rene, we are proud of you. You have become a model citizen. How about that? Huh? Huh? Oh, the PTA. Wow. Hey, can I have that letter? I'd like to show the gang. Oh, no. I am sorry. It might get lost. I want to send it to my mother. You got a mother, too? Boy, wait till they... Oh. Of course you'd have a mother. <laughs> now, if you will tell me where is the office of your captain, I have a little business to transact there. Uh, well, well, it's right over there in that big Quonset hut. Hey, I'd be proud to take you over there. So you are the OD. You must guard the island, huh? Doctor. Oh. Right. Yeah, well, uh, I'll see you around. Uh, Roger, over and out. Oh. Gee, I love that kind of talk. <laughs>